welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video today i'm doing a freshman um questions or tips i can't remember which one i titled it on my channel last time but i am doing part two so i'm doing part two because the last video um and i got a lot of good feedback and i have some more tips slash questions that could be answered for you incoming pv freshmen so if you have not seen my part one i will link it down in the description box and go check it out so without further ado let's get into the video one of the first tips slash questions i'm going to talk about is are you able to bring your car to pv yes as freshmen you are able to bring your cars to pv now the only thing is parking like parking be crazy it barely be any parking spaces if you live in the uc now if you live in the like the phases well it's not really going to be a problem for you but if you don't have a car they also have zip cars on campus if you do not know what a zip car is you are able to rent a car if you have your id and you're 18 years old you can just download the app and they charge like nine something dollars per hour to rent the car you just have to download the app and it's like different prices for different times but it's no less than eight dollars and no more than like ten nine fifty at the so if you do not have a car you can just sign up for a zip car and i think you have to pay a 15 dollar membership fee and you renew that every year so if you don't have a car no problem because honestly if you want to go to like a major walmart the major walmart is 20 minutes away all the good food places 20 minutes away the outlet is 20 minutes away but we also have a small Walmart that's like no more than a 10 minute drive. And then we have Sonic, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Jack in the Box and McDonald's. Those are the only like close, close places. Oh yeah, and there's also some Mexican restaurants near us and then a taco truck. But all the other good food places, you're going to have to drive like 20 minutes. Like if you know you want to get you some cans or some Wendy's or some Zaxby's, 20 minute drive. Now the next thing I'm talking about is meal plans. I promise you, nobody needs the 17 meal plan, y'all. If you chose a 17 meal plan, you won't be disappointed once you realize what the MSC food is. Like, I do not believe no one needs the 17 meal plan. Okay, I give you did 14 or something because as freshmen, there would not be a kitchen nowhere in the dorms. Like, there's no community kitchen, none of that, nowhere near the freshman thing. So, I give you get like at least 14, but nobody needs 17. Nobody in my opinion because the msc food is okay but it's not like oh, oh my god y'all i'm gonna go to the msc and smash unless it's like catfish friday or like on thursdays they be having like little bars set up like hot dog bars wing bars baked potato bars you know stuff like that but other than that i don't think nobody needs a 17 meal plan now also if you get the 17 meal plan you get less panther bucks the higher the meal plans are the less panther bucks you get and if you don't know what Panther Bucks is, that's the money that's on your ID card that you can use at the other places like Chick-fil-A, uh, the Panther Grill, and then Jasmine's, and also the Panther Mart. Now, at the Panther Mart, it's like a little gas station that's inside the MSC that has, like, all these snacks and stuff, you know. And then the Panther Grill, it has, like, all different other foods. And then Jasmine's is a cafe. So, honestly, y'all, they prices is, they up there. Jasmine's like for a total of a whole meal you are gonna spend at least twelve eleven dollars so that's that's a lot of panther bucks now also chick-fil-a is gonna be crowded af as soon as it opens so if i was y'all do not spend your panther bucks super fast and do not spend them all at chick-fil-a because halfway throughout the semester Chick-fil-A going to be empty because everybody going to run out of Panther Bucks. So if I was y'all, I would like, you know, spread my Panther Bucks out, you know, or limit yourself to like six or ten Panther Bucks a week. Did I do that? No. But at least it's the end of the year and I lucky still got a dollar on my Panther Bucks, you know. But do not spend all your Panther Bucks like so quick. Like you could just honestly don't spend them unless you have to. The MSC, you get three swipe, three times to swipe out of the day. And it just depends on your meal plan, you know. Just try to not spend all your Panther Bucks at once. 
you feel me? A question that I got asked is, how do you know that you get your roommate for sure? If you did not see my last video, I talked about please don't snore. And that's basically where you pick your roommate. And then also, when you, uh, when you were picking what apartment you wanted to live in, it said the requested roommate. So you have to put your roommate on that and then also put your roommate on please don't snore. Just because you requested each other on please don't snore does not mean that you would get that roommate. So I didn't get the roommate who I picked it freshman year, but somebody told me what they did was tell the like leasing office that this is who they wanted as their roommate and they were able to get each other as a roommate. So I guess that's what you can do. But honestly, if you roommate him with a friend, don't do it. Because friendships normally end over, over like when you room with your best friend like you don't know somebody till you actually live with them so now i give you like know somebody from last year y'all speak here and there like rooming with a best friend in my opinion is not a good idea because friendships can get ruined over that y'all might not agree with this somebody might not agree with that somebody might like the room hotter somebody might like the room colder so if i was you i would not room with somebody who's very close to me if you value your friendship so another thing is being away from home. I live in Dallas and my school is near Houston. It's So that's a three hour drive for me and I'm not with my mom or close to my family. And basically how I deal with that is FaceTime, honestly, or Facebook because you know, all the family members on Facebook or if not, everybody got an iPhone. If not, you know, I think Android's got something for like FaceTime and too low key, but I deal with not being home close to my mom like I call her very often we talk at least once a day being in college like you low-key don't hit up family members as much as less it's time for us to love you but you just have to find time to make time to call your family members and you know hit them up but my mom is somebody who I definitely make sure I hit up all the time because she's just my mom and we are not right next to each other I went from seeing her every day to seeing her maybe every three months I personally did not go home for a lot of holidays like I went home for the PV and Grambling game and then I probably went home for that's honestly it now my mom she lives in Florida now too as well so I went to visit her like um Thanksgiving and Christmas but other than that I did not go home a lot I did not find the need to go home for every holiday like, I didn't go home for spring break. I don't feel that you have to go home for every single holiday. But that's how I dealt with being away from home, just keeping in touch with the people who I was as close with. Now, another thing is, PV does not answer the phone. And I'm telling y'all now, PV people do not answer the phone. It's because during the summer, most of the time, they're at freshman orientation orientation most of the time so what works for me is calling them like the last 30 to 40 minutes before they close because I mean if they about to close they should be in their office right and I'm not even kidding it worked every time I called them right before closing and I might not have got the answer that I wanted but at least I got a answer and it they told me what I needed to do in order to solve my problem now the next thing I'm gonna kind of talk about not too much is relationships so I'm gonna tell y'all this. It's a lot of a lot of beautiful young black men at Prairie View, but they're not all good for you. They're not all good for you. Don't get me wrong. It might be some good ones out here, but they're not all good for you. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't come to college with that mindset, thinking that you're gonna have a love and basketball type, you know, thing, because that's not true. Or you know, when they had stumped the yard, old girl, and old boy. College is not like that. It's all these beautiful people here. Dudes want to explore and women want to explore. I'm telling you that now. You could be talking to somebody and then you see them in the MSC with somebody else. That is like most of the time people don't really want to be tied down when they're in college unless you find your real one. Okay? If you find your real one, that's what's up. Because it's very hard. But most of the time, people really don't want to be in a relationship in college. And then most of the people I've known, they had long-distance relationships. And they broke up because the communication wasn't good. 
So if you got your boyfriend, girlfriend back at home, you got to really love them because at PV, it's so many people and it's easy to get distracted. So if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend at home, you have to come with the mindset that you dedicated to your boyfriend or girlfriend and you have to communicate a lot with them. Communication is the key. Don't let these little dudes and females trick you. Like dudes will lie to you just to get in your underwear. And they see you as freshmen, so they be like, ooh, fresh need, they easy. No, do not, don't mess around with these little boys, y'all. Don't mess around with them. But I mean, girls also can be the same, but I'm telling you now, it's a lot of beautiful men at PV to the females watching this. And you just can't be naive when you come to college because you would get told anything just to get laid down in bed. And also, for the people out there who are sexually active, if you are, we have a clinic here and they offer free testing as well as free condoms. You know, grateful for that and take advantage of it. Free testing. Some of y'all out here doing stuff and don't want your parents to know, at least be safe and get tested. And they also offer free condoms and stuff. So, you know, just take advantage of that if you are sexually active. That's all I'm saying. Another thing is throughout college, you might lose some friends. Not everybody has your best heart and interest. People will hear you but not listen to you. Don't tell everybody your business because not everybody wanna see you shine, like honestly. You have to limit what you tell the people because not everybody cares and some people just wanna know your business and they might be going around spreading your business. So learn how to keep some things private. You have to learn to not tell every single person your business. And also, when you go into parties, get you a good friend. Like, if you're drinking, get you a friend who makes sure you're good or get you somebody who don't drink and drive. You know, you just gotta pick your friends wisely. And me, I'm also usually the designated driver because I don't really drink. So I make sure all my friends are good. Like if if the driver is drunk, I'll drive. Or like if I see my homegirl sick, I'll make sure she good. You know, you just gotta get you one of those good friends or you can be one of those friends. Also, y'all, parties is not cheap. Parties are $10 to get in, yes. You pay $10 to go to a party, but you do not have to go to every party. It is okay to miss out on going out with friends or some parties just to do your work. Keep that in mind. And you also don't want to be that girl who like going crazy and stuff because people will remember you. Oh, that's that girl that go crazy at every single party. Yes, people will remember you about it. So be careful what you be doing at parties. TV is super hot. It's super hot and humid so if you natural braids might be for you sometimes because it is so humid at pv like if you live more in a dallas area it's usually at least a dry hot down here it's humid and hot like super humid and also you need you some rain boots because it rains a lot down here so make sure you get you some umbrellas and some rain boots because it rains a lot and then it be super hot sometimes like sometimes my edges i be like I don't even know what's the point of doing my edges because I know they do not be having a chance of surviving. You feel me? Another thing is staying motivated in college. When I feel like I'm off track and like sad type stuff, I usually just write down everything I need to do and just like refocus myself. And then sometimes, you know, I'll just say a little prayer and talk to God when I feel like I'm off track. And also, I have a book right here. I write down all my goals and what I want in life and basically everything that I want to accomplish because if you see it and believe it, it will happen. I firmly believe that when I speak stuff to existence and believe it's really going to happen, it does happen. So, I keep me a little journal that I write down things in. Another thing is morning classes. I'm telling y'all now. Do not get at 8 o'clock unless you are truly a morning person. I know you be like, oh, I woke up at 8 o'clock in high school. I can easily do that in college. Mm -mm. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. Do not get at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, unless you are truly a morning person because it's a setup for failure. Do not get at 8 o'clock. I'm telling you that now. But also, if you register early, that's a good idea because just like you don't want at 8 o'clock, you don't want a four o'clock because that's when all your friends gonna be going to the MSC. That's when you want to take a nap. You ain't gonna want to go to class. 
So do not get a late class either. So try to register as early as you can to avoid getting an early class or a late class unless that's just what you want to do. I mean, that's not what I want to do. And most people that I know do not like going to their afternoon classes. They be like at 4 or 5 o'clock. I had one of those classes and I hated it. I hated it. So don't get one of those. But for the most part, that is all I'm going to address on this video. I think I covered a lot of stuff. Any questions that you want answered, feel free to hit me up on social media or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share with all your friends and comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.